What's up guys, it's me Lego Paradise here and today I'm going to show you how to build this working Lego Blender. So let's see how it works. First, we'll need to remove the lid so that we can insert the fruits that we want to blend. So we'll be blending some cherries and some grapes to create a very interesting smoothie. And just place the lid back on and you can start blending with the press of a button. And you can do this a few times to get the best result and make sure your Lego smoothie is well blended. So this is a very cool compact little Lego blender design and this is a perfect addition to your Lego kitchens and houses. So let's take a look at how to build it. Here are all the pieces you're going to need to build the blender itself. I'll show you how to motorize the blender after we've built it and once you've got your parts we'll start by building the top of the blender which includes the container where you store the fruits. So this just uses an upside down 2x2 round dome piece in clear and one of these anti-boat stud pieces. So then to make this whole section the right way up we can use a 2x2 round tile with the hole in the center and we can attach this to a 2x2 round plate. So then through the middle of this plate, this is where you can thread a 1x2 axle, just like that. And then you can take one of your bracket pieces. You will need to rotate this upside down, just like this. And this is where you can thread the top of the blender through. And you can secure this whole thing in place with a half size bevel gear. And that should be able to rotate nice and smoothly. So then we can take the second bracket and attach it on the outside of the first bracket. Then slide your second bevel gear through and secure that one in place with the 1x4 axle. And now you can see you can actually manually use your blender, just spin it on the side. You can even add a small handle if you want to or you can motorize it. And I'll show you how you can achieve the best results using a power functions motor. So first, let's put these fruits away. That way they're nice and safe and ready to be blended. So for this part, you'll obviously need a power functions motor and a battery box. And I also recommend a base or somewhere to place your blender. So for example, we can first attach the blender to the motor and as it is, it's already the correct height. So all that's left to do is to build it into your Lego buildings and creations. So you can see the blender is looking a little bit weird at the moment. So we can fix that by building a table around it. This is just uh, made out of some simple bricks and plates. And there you can see with the table on top, it creates the illusion that the blender is actually sitting on top of the table. Then we can complete this little build by building in a wall and you can just leave a small gap for the axle to go through you can see in the middle there and that way when you press the motor the blender will start blending even though this is quite a lot to it you can still easily hide this away inside your lego buildings and creations and i think the end result is definitely worth it so I hope you enjoyed building your working Lego blender and if you did be sure to check out my other working Lego how to build videos where I build lots more different functional minifigure scale creations just like this one. Also be sure to leave a like on the video, let me know what you think in the comments and subscribe to my channel for more Lego creations. I'll see you guys next time and thanks for watching.